Android 1.0, the first commercial version of the software, was released on September 23, 2008. On February 9, 2009, the Android 1.1 update was released, initially for the HTC Dream only. This version contains built-in applications like Google Calendar, Google Maps, Google Talk, Instant Messaging, Media Player, YouTube Video Player, Alarm Clock, Calculator, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. On April 27, 2009, Android 1.5 was released which was the first Android version to have codename of the dessert item, Cupcake. It supports video recording and playback in MPEG4, copy and paste feature, auto rotation option, and ability to upload video to YouTube. On September 15, 2009, Android 1.6 update was released with the codename Donut. It contains numerous new features such as CDMA-based network support, user can select multiple photos for deletion and battery usage indicator, a new battery usage screen lets users see which apps and services are consuming battery power. On October 26, 2009, Android 2.0 update was released, whose codename was Eclair. It contains the several new features as multiple account sync, Microsoft Exchange email support, Bluetooth 2.1 and ability to tap a contact photo and select to call an SMS. On May 20, 2010, Android 2.2 update was released, whose codename was Froyo. It includes features such as new home screen tips widget assists new users on how to configure the home screen with shortcuts and widgets. Support for installing applications to expandable memory and performance improvements. And how to make use of multiple home screens. On December 6, 2010, the Android 2.3, Gingerbread, was released. It includes changes like supports extra large screen size and resolutions, select a word by press holding, support, NFC, near-field communications and support for extra-large screen sizes and resolutions WXGA, and higher. On February 22, 2011, Android 3.0, Honeycomb, was released, which was designed for devices with larger screen sizes, especially for tablets. It contains features like holographic user interface for tablet, added system bar, Simplified multitasking tapping recent application in system bar and support for multi-core processor. On October 19, 2011, Android 4.0, Ice Cream Sandwich, was launched. It was the last version which officially support Adobe System Flash Player. It introduces the numerous new features as integrated screenshot capture, built-in photo editor, Wi-Fi Direct, ability to shut down applications from the recent apps list with a swipe and face recognition for device unlocking commonly known as face unlock on july 9 2012 google released stable version of android 4.1 jelly bean it updates to following features such as expandable notification volume control for incoming call improved support for hebrew and arabic speakers with new builds for right to left layouts 4K resolution support and native emoji support. In the next year on October 31, 2013, Google released stable version of Android 4.4, KitKat, whose initial code name was Key Lime Pi. The minimum required amount of RAM should available to Android was 512 megabytes. It includes several new features as wireless printing capability, translucent system UI styling, just say OK Google. You don't need to touch the screen to get things done. Just say OK Google to launch voice search, send a text, get directions, or even play a song. On November 12, 2014 Google released stable version of Android 5.0, Lollipop, which was initially named as Android L. Lollipop provides features like support for multiple SIM cards, device protection, high-definition voice calls, native Wi-Fi calling support and Project Volta for battery life improvements. On October 5, 
2015 Google released stable version of Android 6.0, Marshmallow, which was disclosed under the codename Android M. It contains the new features and changes like App Standby feature, native fingerprint reader support, USB Type-C support and renamed priority mode to Do Not Disturb mode. On August 22, 2016 Google released stable version of Android 7.0, Nugget. It was the major release of Android with initial codename Android N. It contains new features as file-based encryption, circular app icon support, battery usage alerts, faster app installation, multi-window support, new professional emoji and send GIFs directly from the default keyboard. Just after one year on August 21, 2017 Android 8.0, Aria, update was released which was the eighth major release of the Android operating system. It contains new features such as two times faster boot time, downloadable fonts, users can long press on app launcher icons to view notifications and picture-in-picture -picture mode. On August 6, 2018 Google released stable version of Android 9.0, Pi, which was the ninth major update of the Android operating system. It has the following features as the clock has moved to the left of the notification bar, battery percentage always shown on display and Android dashboard, which tells the user how much time they are spending on their device and in apps, and allows the user to set time limits on apps. To eliminate unintentional rotations, Android have added a mode that pins the current orientation even if the device position changes. Users can trigger rotation manually when needed by pressing a button in the system bar. On September 3, 2019 Google released stable version of Android 10, which was initially named as Android Q. It contains features like dark theme. Android 10 can create a dark theme for your app dynamically with force dark. Android 10 introduces a fully gestural navigation mode that eliminates the navigation bar area and allows apps to use the full screen to deliver richer, more immersive experiences. Support for an AV1 video codec, support for enhanced biometric authentication, support the WPA3 Wi-Fi security and support for notification bubbles. On September 8, 2020 Google released stable version of Android 11. It is the 18th version of Android Mobile OS. The alphabetic naming system of Android, based on deserts, was stopped since Android 10. So therefore, this operating system has branded with Android 11. It contains features like Android 11 allows us to control all our connected devices, IoT, from a single point, content capture, can play music from other devices connected to our phones, chat bubbles and screen recorder. Thanks for watching. Let us know in comment section below which was your first Android version you used.